Learning Objectives After completing this digital module, students will be able to Understand the concept of rural development and the major issues engaged with it. Comprehend how crucial the development of the rural region is in the aspect of India's altogether development. Understand the salient scopes and sequences of the credit and marketing systems in Indian agriculture. Learn about the sustainable livelihood and its direct relation with the concept of diversification of productive activities in Indian agriculture. Learn the importance of the organic farming for the sustainable developments of rural areas of India and for the domain of agriculture as well. Rural Development What is Rural Development? Rural Development, being an all-inclusive term, looks into those pain areas of village economy where the development has been deteriorated for a long time. According to the census of 2011, about one-third of rural India survives on a sum of rupees 5,000 to make ends meet for their whole household. This concept focuses upon the development of the sections of rural economies that experience grave poverty issues and effectively aims at developing their productivity. This also emphasizes the need to address various pressing issues of village economies that hinder growth and improve these areas. The areas of development The areas where it needs the urgent attention for rural development in India are Public Health and Sanitation Literacy Female Empowerment Enforcement of Law and Order Land Reforms Infrastructure Development like Irrigation Rural Electrification Availability of Credit Eradication of Poverty and so on The Rural Economy is an example of an agrarian economy. Although farming and agriculture are one of the most important primary activities, the problem lies in the fact that the share in GDP of agriculture sector is on a constant decline. At the same time, about two-thirds of India's population depends on agriculture. As a result, the productivity is not up to the mark, with conditions only getting worse. The Scope of Improvement In essence, the infrastructure of rural areas should drastically improve. Secondly, the quality education can help in achieving the goal of eradication of many social evils. Besides this, the access to easy credit and loans should be available by improving the banking system in rural areas. Agricultural Credits in India In agriculture, the farmers used to borrow the money for their initial expenses like seeds, irrigation, as the gestation period from sowing the seeds to selling the final product in market is very long. During post-independence period, the inadequacy of rural credit drew the attention of the Reserve Bank and the government for several times. Following the recommendations of the Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development, the National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development, NABAD, was set up in 1982 for providing credit for promotion of among other things in agriculture. It took the entire work of the refinancing functions of the RBI in relation to state cooperatives and regional rural banks, RRBs. Regional rural banks, RRBs, and self-help groups, SHGs. After Green Revolution in Northern India, the portfolio of rural credit became diversified in the aspect of production-oriented lending. Several commercial banks, regional rural banks, RRBs, cooperatives, and land development banks have structured the rural banking today by dispensing the etiquette credit at cheaper rates. The self-help groups or SHGs are consisting of groups of 15 to 20 people came together with an objective of creating the financial cushion in the times of individual or collective exigencies. 
by creating self-help promotional institutions SHPIs. The RRBs are also playing the vital role in rural credit policies in micro level. Rural Banking – A Critical Analysis Rural banking has been consistently failing to recover large amount of loans given for agriculture in India. Without the presence of efficient habit of thrift and the optimum utilization of financial resources, despite several attempts, the banking in rural India remained as merely being lender, but no such effective relationship between two parties would have scarcely been formed. Agricultural Market System In a nutshell, the agricultural marketing is an entire process consisting of assembling, storage, processing, transportation, packaging, grading, and distribution of different agricultural commodities throughout the country and even abroad. In India, the 450 million tons of produced raw food materials of plant and animal origins are refined, stored, and transformed into various usable products using several conventional and modern food processing technologies. The annual storage losses estimated to be 14 million ton of food grains worth USD, US dollars 16,000 million every year. About from 30% to 40% of the fruits and vegetables grown in India get wasted annually due to gaps in the cold chain such as poor infrastructure, insufficient cold storage capacity, unavailability of cold storages, etc. Measures to improve the marketing aspects The most primary step is to regulate the periodic rural markets to create a transparent marketing condition. To create the proper infrastructure like roads, railways, warehouses, different food processing units is the second step in that direction. The third aspect is the cooperative form of agriculture and marketing. In Gujarat, through Amul Limited, it got succeeded to overcome the issue of depreciation and loss during post-harvest time. The Government of India has announced the minimum support prices, MSPs, for procurement of the food grains considering the factors of the cost of various agricultural inputs and the desired reasonable margins for the farmers, for the producers as well. Food Corporation of India, FCI, being a nodal agency, works in this category through other governmental agencies. Emergence of Alternate Marketing Channels The farmers in rural area get the advantages of private mendes and several food processing units and other fast food chains to sell their agro products and thus to avail the opportunity of increased incomes. Diversification of Productive Activities The diversification in this regard includes two aspects. First, relates to the diversification of crop production and the second relates to a shift of workforce from agriculture to other allied activities and non-farming sector. Excluding the Kharif season, being concentrated as per with the employment activities by the time of Rabi season. The irrigation depriving areas used to find a severe decline in gainful income and any sustained employment. The way of diversification is also the key to convene the changing demand patterns with supply and more importantly to act as an overall risk relief for the producer himself. Further, this is also a key enabler for achieving sustainability. Given the current state of affairs on usage of water, agro inputs and soil. Agriculture and Allied Services The average land holding of Indian farmers has been consistently declining over the last two decades, down by 20% to 1.15 hectare. The silver lining though is that nearly two-thirds of the total agriculture production today is of high value in nature, a definite contrast from the state of affairs during the Green Revolution. 
In terms of horticulture production, India witnessed a significant increase in production to the tune of 270 million tons in 2013, from 97 million tons in 1990. Similarly, the milk production it stood at around 53 million tons in 1990 and approximately 140 million tons today, witnessing a growth of more than 150 percent. Boosting diversification To further augment the rural income, we need to move up the curve through some key focus areas of intervention. They are 1. Innovative institutional mechanisms and structures 2. Policy interventions 3. Sustainable risk management 4. Technology and innovations 5. Infrastructure development and 6. Skill development Different Allied Services Livestock are domesticated animals raised in an agricultural setting to produce labor and commodities such as meat, eggs, milk, fur, leather and wool. Animal husbandry output constitutes about 32% of country's agricultural output. The contribution of this sector to the total GDP during 2006-2007 was 5.26%. Moreover, India is the highest producer of milk. The country accounts for 57% of the world's buffalo population and 14% of cattle population. The average annual growth rate of fish production during the sixth five-year plan was only 3.94%. The major constraints were over-concentration on shrimp fishing, non-exploitation of unconventional fishery resources in the marine sector, and slow progress in the expansion of extensive and semi-intensive aquaculture system in the inland and brackish water fisheries. Horticulture and Sericulture Horticulture crops, particularly fruits, are now receiving increasing attention in view of its increasing commercial importance accentuated by quick transportation to vast internal market. More than 3 lakh hectares have been brought under drip irrigation and the ninth five-year plan envisages to bring another 80,000 hectare of land in different states under drip irrigation. India produce all five known silk varieties as being the only country in the world like mulberry, tropical tassa, oak tassa, erai and muga, of which muga with the golden yellow glitter is unique and prerogative of India. Sericulture industry provides employment to approximately 8.25 million persons in rural and semi-urban areas in India during 2015-2016. Cottage Industries in Rural India Village and cottage industry is defined to be an enterprise of series of operations carried on by a workman skilled in the craft in his own responsibility, works mainly in his own home using his own tools and materials and provides his own labor or at most with the assistance of his family member. Sustainable Development and Organic Farming Organic farming is a system which avoids or largely excludes the use of synthetic inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides, hormones, feed, etc. and to maximum extent feasible relies upon crop rotations, crop residues, animal manures, off-farm organic waste, mineral-grade rock additives and biological system of nutrient mobilization and plant protection. Benefits of Organic Farming As modern life sciences develop, we can find eight salient benefits of this type of agriculture in respect with its conventional counterpart. They are Organic farming discourages environmental exposure to pesticides and chemicals absolutely. It helps to build the soil healthy and to be ready for next farming as well. The soil erosion can also checked in way of farming. 
the effects of global warming can be reduced by this genre of farming. The water conservation and its general health are supported by this type of farming. The incident of algae blooms is primarily checked by the organic farming. The animal health is supported by this. The cause of biodiversity is championed by this type of farming. The situation of the organic farming in India. What is seen in India presently are two kinds of strong undercurrents of organic farming. From limited to rapidly increasing certified organic farms, mainly producing for a premium price in the domestic or export market, and the large number of non-certified organic farms, which produce for their own households accessing local markets only. There are many areas where the production is by default organic. Uttaranchal or Uttarakhand is one such state where in hilly areas negligible amount of chemical is used. The farmers are also turning to organic production because of the high premium commanded by organic products. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Rural development signifies the importance of developing the infrastructure and nurturing the lives of rural people as well so that they could experience the change in their day-to-day -day societal lives. The contribution of GDP from Indian agriculture was in a continuous decline and this has been seen in the perspective of the rural development and system changes in the Indian villages. Through several governmental steps, the rural banking system established the pathway of the development of Indian agriculture and found the measures to drive away the miseries of the lives of farmers. Various regional rural banks and other self-help groups worked together to find out the sustaining conditions of distress and lacking in the aspect of Indian farming. There is still a need to develop about 27,000 rural periodic markets as regulated marketplace to realize the full potential of rural markets. Food Corporation of India, from its inception, works to accumulate and harvest the food grains from the farmers at the fixed minimum selling prices, MSPs. By several projects like Food for All, the governments of India have tried to approach to poorest people of the country through its well-knit public distribution system, PDS. Diversification towards new areas such as livestock, fisheries and other non-agricultural activities is necessary not only to reduce the risk from agricultural sector, but also to provide productive sustainable livelihood options to our rural people.